Good morning, students and staff of Zealand High School. Thanks so much for joining us for the morning announcement show. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Grace. Let's get started with the 116th show of the year. Today is National Don't Friday. The Friday of Memorial Weekend is the unofficial start of summer. Don't Friday recognizes how important it is not to get sunburned. Wear sunscreen and limit your time in the sun to protect yourself. Zealand Dance is enrolling in their Dance Summer Program. This program is available for experienced dancers entering grades 8 through 12. In Illumini, visit the Zealand Dance page. Visit the Zealand Dance website for more information or email dance director Mrs. Clyde at nclyde at zps.org. Many new job opportunities have been added to the job database. Feel free to check out the job postings on the Counseling Office website if you are interested in part-time employment, a summer job, or full-time employment upon graduation. The list is updated regularly, so check back often. There will be a 10-minute information meeting for any West girl interested in playing golf this fall and on Thursday, June 3 at 7.20 a.m. or 2.50 p.m. The meeting will be held in room D117 at West. Summer information and season details will also be shared. Interested players who are unable to attend the meeting should see Coach Manier in room D117 for details. Attention all East athletes, sign up for the EDGE Summer Training Program today. The EDGE is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday mornings. Each session will include a strength, speed, and agility workout to prepare athletes for the up and coming school year. It costs $100 and comes with a camp t-shirt. Pick a flyer today in the East Athletic Office or the link attached to the announcements page. And now for some sports. The East baseball team finished the regular season last night beating Reese Puffer 6-3 and the win puts the Chicks at 20-1 in conference play securing the conference championship. In the game last night, the Chicks were led offensively by Luke Gruppin, who scored three hits, while Riley Wilson added a pair. Brandon Clarabel also added a RBI and scored two runs. On the mound, Ethan Hotelling fired a complete game no-hitter. Even though the Rockets scratched three unearned runs, they did not record a hit. Hotelling broke the single-season strikeout record in game, which was officially 86 in the season, originally held by Michael Mead. Hotelling tailed 14 strikes in the game and now sits at 96 on the season. He also finishes a perfect 7-0 in conference. He and fellow pitcher Caleb Scrotenberg have each tied the single season school record for wins by a pitcher with seven. This year's team was tie has a tie of a school record in total wins with 30 and the season isn't even over yet. It is time for the Pledge of Allegiance. We are going to throw it to our pledge correspondent, Brooklyn. Take it away, Brooklyn. Thanks, guys. Good morning, everyone. If you would stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Back to you guys. Thanks, Brooklyn. That's it for the announcement show. Thanks so much for watching. Tomorrow is National Paperclip Day. While paperless, if you have pages, paperclip them together tomorrow. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Grace. And we're asking you to remember to be, be nice. nice.